Player Supreme here, and I'm going to share with you five keys to building your confidence. And confidence is the master key to making all of your dreams come true. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations that you might be facing, no dates, no women, uh, midterms, whatever it is. So I'm going to give you five keys that show you how to build confidence if this is an area that you struggle with. Once you master these keys and build your self-confidence, all doors that were previously shut to you, you're gonna find that they will be opened. For example, women not being attracted to you, you'll find more women are now attracted to you. And you know what? I'm certain that there are extremely confident people that all of you guys know or have seen, people that you have said that you would like to be like, how could you tell that they were confident, though? Maybe it was because the way they talked or carried themselves, huh? See, self-confidence is especially evident through someone's speech, but also through their body language. Everyone is capable of learning how to become more self-confident. This is not something that we're born with innately or naturally. We all have had events in our lives that have knocked our confidence down, but... I say it's time to pick it back up again and step like real men. So your first key is your self-concept. In order to build self-confidence, the first step is to change the way you think about yourself. You need to examine your, your self-image and determine what your self-defeating ideas about yourself are. Stop programming yourself for failure with your self-image and what you say about yourself. And this goes out to also to, especially to Audio, who keeps doing that to himself. It's time to reprogram yourself. And one way to do this is to replace all of the negative thoughts about yourself with positive ones there, Audio, and everyone else. Replace all of those negative thoughts. I don't ever want to see you post another negative self-image thought trying to beg for attention on Facebook again. Otherwise, I'm going to not subscribe to your feed. But this may be hard to do at the beginning for a lot of people, but it's very important. And you sh you're going to have to do it daily, okay? you got to do it daily, period. You need to realize that if you do not believe that you're, you're worth it, that you're never going to achieve anything worthwhile, and your dreams are going to remain exactly that, just dreams. Make building your self-confidence a key priority in your lives. Number two. Let's look at body language. Be aware of how you're using your body because your body language will speak volumes to others, especially to women. They can spot a man with low self-esteem by the way he moves, the way he walks. you got to understand that women are masters of body language. They can spot your weakness real fast. So let me give you another instance. When you cross your arms across your body, this in body language terms signifies to others that you're closed off or you're nervous and that you're not really confident with yourself. Now, people are always evaluating your body language in social situations. And it's always important to be aware of how you're presenting yourself. If you fold your arms, if you slouch, uh, if you don't make eye contact, these convey negative messages to others. Number three, change environment. Look around you. See who you surround yourself with or the environment that you're in. If you're surrounded by other geeks, other goobers, other nerds, of course, you're going to be taken as one. Okay? You're going to absorb their energy and look just like the rest of them. So I ask, you know, do the people or, or, or surrounding folks around you, do they support confidence building? Or are they negative? Do all your friends speak negatively? Because you... You've heard the term, misery loves company. If you're miserable, let's say if you're mistreated on your job, I say it's about time that you switch jobs. If you're in a relationship where someone puts you down, I say it's time for a new relationship. If your parents are negative at home, I say it's time to get out and be a man and live on your own. Okay? Now, again, do your friends or family members do they sow seeds of discouragement and doubt in you by saying that you will never be able to achieve your dreams or better yourself? 
I had that growing up, by the way. If so, they're what's called spiritual vampires. And you need to make a decision to either limit your contact with them or remove yourself from them entirely. I did that myself. My home environment was so negative because uh, my father was a player and he was constantly playing on my mother and she was she was negative about it. And, you know, all men are dogs. I grew up with that. All men are evil, all that kind of stuff. You know, men would fuck their own mother. She actually was, said a dog would fuck his own mother. So that's the environment I grew up in. And I couldn't wait to get out of there. Building your self-esteem and confidence, fellas, is very important. It's a very important undertaking, which involves what you hear and what you say to yourself. So you want to hear the right things. And when you do, watch your confidence increase little bit by little bit, little baby steps. We start hearing the right things. I want you to venture out into new environments, make new acquaintances, friends uh, who do not know you and have not made judgments about you and don't have preconceived notions about you. In Mickey Royal's book, uh, The Pimp Game, he talked about you have to disappear from the people that know you before and remake yourself into someone else. Number four, practice Practice, practice. It's like in real estate, it's location, location, location. With us, for us on the internet, it's practice, practice, practice. you got to practice these skills. Being confident takes daily practice. You may have to fake it until you make it, but you have to create new habits every day to replace all the confidence-destroying habits that you have practiced in the past. You've had a lifetime to build up these, these confidence-destroying habits. And they're ingrained in it. So you gotta practice your new habits every every day, especially audio. You gotta practice the new habits every every day. Whether you believe it or not, in the beginning of confidence building, you gotta start acting confident. Period. Okay? You just gotta act confident. You you, you wanna practice the speech patterns and body language of a confident person that you know or have seen. That's why role models are important. And if you do it long enough, it will become second nature to you. Number five, make the achievement of your dream your main focus. If you want to become good with women, make that your main focus. I've been told I have a one-track mind over and over again, but be through my one-track mind, I became good at everything I set my mind to. I just gave a lecture to you fellows on using the power of your brain Okay, so make sure you apply your focus. I, I got to ask a question. Have, have you given up on your dreams? Do you believe that you'll never achieve them? Well, is it time to believe yourself again? Huh? And believe that you can achieve anything? Don't you think it's time that you did that? As the saying goes, if you believe that you will never achieve, guess what? You're right. If you believe that you'll never get good in the game, guess what? You're right. If you believe that you will never become a millionaire, guess what? You're right. But guess what? Guess what? The reverse is also true. If you believe that nothing is impossible, guess what? You're right. Yeah. Far too many people have given up on their dreams out there. They have simply stopped trying because of a, of a lack of confidence to continue their pursuit and their, to their dreams and happiness. So they sit there in negativity. Look at the TFL people. The TFL is rot with people who have given up on their dreams and their happiness. They say they're forced into true force loneliness. No, it, actually, yes, they are. Yes, they are, because guess what? They believe it. And guess what? They are right. They're right. Okay? Being confident means preserving or persevering, in other words, in the midst of one obstacle after another. Okay, you got rejected here. You go here. You got to check there. You go there. Okay. So take what I just taught you and make it a point to, to invest in yourself and grow your life, my friends. Peace.